growing popularity of pond-free water features, the EcoRise was developed to meet the needs that self-contained fountain basins could not accomplish. Traditional fountain basins have weight, size, and splash limitations that inhibit the type of fountain piece that can be chosen. The EcoRise system is able to capture any amount of splash, can support literally tons of weight, and makes installation a breeze. Let's get an overview of what we'll be covering today. First, we'll figure out the number of eco blocks we'll need and the liner apron size. Second, we'll excavate where we will be building our system. Then, we'll lay the liner and underlayment, followed by placing the eco blocks and pump vault. We'll then backfill around the reservoir, unwrap the liner apron, plumb the pump vault, place the fountain pieces, and finally connect the tubing. Begin by determining the size of the basin. If we are just sizing the reservoir to support the fountain pieces, the number of eco blocks is based on how large your fountains are and how far apart they are spaced. The pump vault will be placed just outside the eco blocks within the excavated basin. The liner apron should extend out from the reservoir to capture any splash. A good rule of thumb is to plan for a splash zone twice as wide as the tallest fountain piece is high. Plumbing feed lines will run from the pump vault to the fountain pieces. Eco blocks create the reservoir that supplies and supports the decorative elements. Capable of supporting literally tons of distributed weight, eco blocks can be used to create reservoirs of virtually any size, shape, and depth. The pump vault houses and protects up to two pumps while providing convenient access to an automatic fill valve, check valve, and or three-way diverter. The extremely strong radial structure and molded access ports of the EcoRise support even the heaviest stones, vases, or statuary while protecting plumbing and electrical connections. Start by excavating the area for the eco blocks and pump vault 24 inches deep and at least one foot longer and wider than the actual size of the eco blocks. This is to leave room for adjustment. Level the bottom with 2 inches of screenings or sand, leaving the top of the EcoBlox reservoir about 4 inches below the original grade so there is room for enough gravel to cover the EcoRise and vault cover. Cover the excavation with a layer of underlayment to protect the liner, and then set the liner in place. For added protection, cover the liner with more underlayment to completely protect it top and bottom from any rips or tears. Assemble and set the eco blocks into the hole. Because it's safer and easier to work on the pump vault before setting it in the reservoir, drill the 2 inch diameter hole for the 3 way diverter before placing it. If installing an automatic fill valve, drill a 7 8 inch hole and attach the autofill. Set the vault into the reservoir alongside the blocks. Once the eco blocks and pump vault are in place, wrap the liner and underlayment up around them to backfill. Once backfilled to the top of the eco blocks, grade the soil around the reservoir to create a shallow bowl sloping inwards towards the eco blocks so that any splash on the apron will flow back into the reservoir. Unfold the liner and underlayment. Install the three way diverter. Assemble the check valve and attach to the pump. While the check valve is not absolutely necessary, it is recommended to simplify servicing and winterization and to keep any foreign objects from entering the pump through the plumbing. Attach the pump and check valve assembly to the three-way diverter to secure both in place. If using an optional ionizer to lower cleaning and maintenance costs, attach it to the check valve assembly now. Once the pump is installed, route the tubing through the EcoRise first, then to the fountain piece. In this example, we are using an elbow with a short riser with putty around it to seal the hole at the bottom of the column. With the tubing safely protected by the EcoRise, set the fountain pieces and adjust as desired. The minimal friction between the eco blocks and EcoRise makes it easy to shift the heaviest features with little effort. Once you have placed your pieces, connect the tubing to the three-way diverter, Trim your liner apron to the appropriate size and cover the reservoir, plumbing, and apron with the decorative gravel.
fill the reservoir, plug in the pump, and balance the flow between fountain pieces with a three-way diverter. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy your new fountain system.